day two with the feral babies. So this is first thing in the morning. I show up. You can already start to see a difference in their attitudes because we do definitely get some tail wags when I come in. You see a bit of excited body language, some paw stomping. They still go away from the door, but they're a lot more interested and excited in me as opposed to fearful like before. Still fearful, but not nearly as intensely. I bring gifts of food with me. Once again, I try and distribute so that uh, ideally we have one puppy on each bowl. I will not grab them to try and move them. Again, I want to apply little bits of stress, but if I grab them and I move them, that's way too much stress for these puppies to be able to productively handle. Now after the meal time, they started looking like they kind of wanted to play, and I love using play for fearful dogs. If they're starting to engage with me, you can see I'm doing this little tiny finger game here where I can just move them towards them a little bit, and I can often start to get some pawing or just the beginning of a play bow. I'm getting that little tail wag from the puppy up front. When they didn't really want to engage with me like that, I decided to take a nap on a fresh pee pad. Um, and again, you can see me laying down makes me a little bit less threatening. So now I'm getting some sniffs. I'm getting a little bit more interest, a little bit more play body language there from him. He's so cute. Um, and even a couple of minutes later, the little stubby guy started reaching out for me and offering me his tummy. So I'm not going to push myself too hard. If the puppies start to recoil, I'm going to just give them some space. But I'm giving them the opportunity to engage with me in the way that they are looking for. That's productive for both of us. So I'm keeping myself nice and non-threatening. And another interaction with the puppies. You can see now we even got puppies who are jumping up on the gate to try and greet me. Super sweet and affable at this point. I still cannot touch them. Um, so it might look a little bit confusing when you're saying, how are these feral dogs when they're so happy to see you? All their tails are wagging. They're giving play body language. If I touch them, they will still scream and they will still um, go to the bathroom. So, but they're excited to see me because I've meant really good things every time I come out and I'm not pushing them too much. Now we're switching to lunch and this time lunch is fed from my hands. Um, so I can put it on the ground to make it a little bit easier. Again, I could toss food or I could leave it in a little pile near me to make it easier for them. But a lot of the puppies were actually eating out of my hand at this point. So once again, I'm just trying to build value with myself. Um, my husband's also doing stuff like this. So trying to build value with the both of us and um, trying to make sure that they know that people are predictable and good things happen when we show up. Another little attempt at a play session. What I'm using here is a lambskin rag. Um, these are really high value for a lot of dogs. So they were starting to show some play body language. So I wanted to go with that. We do have Zuko, our own puppy in this room with them. They're really interested in other dogs. So I figured we would use him a little bit. A couple of minutes later, I opened up the door to give them the opportunity to come out. Um, I can kind of wrangle them up without needing to touch them at this point. Um, and once again, I'm using that little toy. I let her win it. That's a great confidence builder when they win the toy. Give her something interesting that she can play with. I am not leaving a ton of toys in their play area right now. I actually want their play area to be kind of boring when I'm not there because I want the excitement and the fun of me being there to stand out, especially those first couple of days. It doesn't feel very great to have kind of bored puppies, but I'm spending an hour plus with them every single day doing interactions, doing feeding, doing attempts at play, existing in the space with them. Um, but I want to make sure that they're not having so much fun and freedom when I'm not there that when I come in, I am really boring or I'm scary because it's unnecessary. And one more play session a little bit later. Now we have Zuko. You can see that the puppies are actually starting to want to come out of their area. Um, it is really important what I was talking about, having those dogs contained. Um, a lot of people who start to work with feral dogs, they give the dog access to the entire house. The issue there being that a lot of feral dogs actually like to hide at first, so they will still hide in a specific area, and when you try to interact with them, they're going to run away. So they're actually practicing running away and ignoring people and not interacting with them much more than they are actually practicing finding value with people. So instead, I keep them in a confined space, and they have the opportunity for freedom and fun and resources when I come into the room instead. It's a change. Um... It really only has to happen for the first couple of weeks generally, but that makes a huge difference. On another note, I do have Zuko joining me for a couple of these sessions, but he's only with me for about half or a quarter of these sessions. He's not there with me every single time. The reason being for that is they already seem to like dogs. 
Um, and I don't need to necessarily build any more value with other dogs. I need to build value with people. So I can give have Zuko in the room to build some of their curiosity, let them see how I play with him, let them have kind of the fun outlet of being able to interact with Zuko, but I'm not having him in the room every single time. That would actually cause more issues because they are much more likely to decide to bond with him instead of trying to bond with people because they would have no reason for it. So now we're really starting to get some play from a lot of these puppies. I'm going to let them win the toys. Um, I'm also not forcing Zuko to interact. So if you have any of your own pets, don't force them to interact with fearful dogs. Feral dogs I found do really well with other dogs, but not all dogs like all dogs. So your dogs might not enjoy them. And this was our last interaction for the day. You can see how excited they are and jumping on me and letting me pet them. How sweet. <laughs>